I'm really excited. Ow! I've got a package. I think I know what's inside. Let's take a look right now. Let's do a quick unboxing. And what we have is, oh, look at this. I've got a strap as well. Might have to give that a go. Look at that design. Oh, cute little key ring as well. Loving that. Here we go. So we've got the iFlight Crystal. Should be the carbon fiber version. Ooh. Ooh, that opens like a an Apple iPhone or something. Foam. Got a bit of nice bit of foam. Boom! Look at that. That is nice looking. Got some screws here. Looks like we've got the little uh, Omni antenna in here. So let's stick these on. We don't need instructions for this, right? It looks like uh, just a simple hex driver. Credit to DJI for actually using a screw that's easy enough to undo. I feel kind of dodgy taking these apart. Wow, look at that. Never seen the inside before. This feels like, feels actually, oh, it's wonderful. It's like stroking a little rabbit's ear or something. <laughs> But it feels really nice. I imagine that's going to scratch quite badly, but hopefully not. So I guess we just screw these in. These are the actual patch antennas, which give like a sort of strong but directional beam. So uh, you get a good signal, the best signal, I suppose, in a particular direction. And then Omni antennas give you signal all around. Less strong, but more kind of versatile screw them in i don't want to over tighten them i do i have heard about um, this actual connector coming loose because people are over tightening things and on the stock antenna there's like a little rim that stops that happening and that also exists on the maple wireless ones they have this uh, this little plastic piece to stop you over tightening them which is really nice doesn't look like these have that so i'm just going to make sure i don't over tighten them you got to say that is nice looking. Ooh. Oh, come on. It's just ruined that nice artwork. Well, I guess that's where you put your battery. My battery's not going to fit in there, so I'm going to leave this off. But I tell you what, ooh, it's a nice flexible material. It feels so stretchy. Oh, that is lovely. Look at that. I've got room either side. Oh, that's nice. That is convenient. So all that remains to be seen is how well these perform. The sun is out. Yes, the sky is blue and I'm at the abandoned building. It's not looking in good shape, but honestly, it doesn't matter. All we need are some bricks to trip over and a couple of walls because what we're gonna do, it's really simple to test these antennas. I'm just gonna stick the drone the other side of a couple of walls and I'm gonna stand elsewhere turn my head in different positions and see how it affects the signal we're going to be looking at megabytes per second i've done more of an extensive test on antennas in a previous video that you might have seen so we'll just do this quickly today we'll compare the crystal antenna by iflight to the stock antenna this is plugged in i'm going to stick it down in this horrible little dank area with the antenna pointing that direction Someone pointed out in my last video that it's important to be consistent about which way the antenna on the drone is facing, and that was a great point. So we're going to make sure we do that today. And then I'm going to jump on the goggles and put it down to just 25 milliwatts, make sure it's uh, going to kind of force the error and give the system a hard time to really test these antenna. But I need to walk over here so I'm further away, um, and I'll be consistent about where I stand as well. So there's a, loads of just rubbish all over the floor here. People just using it to fly tip. So we'll use this little white window frame as the marker of where to stand. Here we go, we're on 25 milliwatts, my head facing away from the drone. And looking at the megabytes per second, we're on three megabytes per second, 2.7, 3.8, 3.2. So it's stabilizing around three megabytes per second with my head facing away from the drone. Um, and now I'm going to turn so that my head is facing it. That means these patches are facing straight towards the antenna. And it did jump up there. It's now around 5 megabytes per second. It's jumping up to 6.7, 5.9, 5.3, 4.8. So it's basically stabilizing around the 5 to 6 megabytes per second with me facing the drone. 
uh, that's all we need to know for now so let's stick the stock antenna on test those and see if they perform the same better or worse right plug back in the stock antennas are on luckily I didn't have to take the faceplate off to do that I was just able to screw them in so that was a bonus and we're gonna put the drone back in the exact same spot stand in the same place check out the megabits per second exact same part of the broken window frame I'm gonna press record okay we're rolling now okay so these antennas are facing away from the drone and we're at 2.3 megabytes per second the consistency of these antennas seems pretty good it was like this in previous tests where they didn't jump around too much but actually now I've said that they did just go down to 1.4 1.3 they're about between sort of 1 and 3 megabytes, jumped up to 3.8, that's the highest I've seen. But around the 3 megabyte mark, 2 to 3 megabytes average. So let's turn around, make sure I'm facing directly at it. There we go, so now facing the drone. Shouldn't make too much difference because these aren't patch antennas. Um, they're sort of omnidirectional I suppose or, or perhaps they're not actually but anyway it's jumped up to 5.5 is the best I've seen it's around 4.8 it's stabilizing around the 5 megabytes per second mark 4 to 5 weirdly it's jumped right up to 10 there and now it's jumped back down again but it seems to be stable around the 5 megabytes 4 to 5 megabytes per second I'll try kind of just one more thing which is turning sideways just in case that's favorable for these antennas and um, with it turned sideways doesn't seem to have made a big difference but it's about eight megabytes seven six so it has gone up a little bit by just turning that way um, but yeah not too bad there doesn't seem to be a massive difference I haven't got the numbers memorized from the other test um, but just based off reaction I don't think there's actually a huge difference uh, between these what may be the crucial factor is that this patch antenna um, you know with its directionality could be helpful in some situations um, and then having those little omni antennas on top could be helpful as well one huge factor that the crystal antenna have got going for them is just practicality I mean it seems ridiculous but everybody seems to care about how well they fit in the bag and that does include me as well it is nice just to be able to plonk them in your bag so convenient and the crystal antenna from iFlight are oh, just brilliant for that so that is one huge advantage practicality they also look good I think they look great um, so if you want a nice practical antenna that looks good fits in your bag well performs easily as good as the stock antenna possibly better then I'd highly recommend the iFlight Crystal HD antenna